You know, one of the most popular upgrades to do to a classic car or truck these days is to swap in a modern performance engine with modern fuel injection. Now, obviously, this is really cool, but this can become a very expensive endeavor, not to mention all the extra time it takes to pull off a swap like this correctly. Now, if you've got to have a modern LS or Coyote or Hemi engine, this is the way to go. But there's a lot of people out there that would like to keep their original V8 or six-cylinder or four-cylinder engine if they could put modern fuel injection on it. For example, one of the best engines ever put into a Jeep was the old 258 straight six because it was powerful, it was torquey, and it was just the right size for these things. But unfortunately in the 80s, they saddled them with an emissions carburetor that just sucked the power out of them. You couldn't keep them tuned. They got horrible mileage. They were a mess. So we're gonna show you how to fix that with a modern fuel injection and keep that cool engine. All right, this is Holly's new Sniper EFI for the Jeep Straight Six, and they have them for other two barrel applications as well. Now, the cool thing about this is when you look at this, you think you're looking at a carburetor, but it's not. If you'll notice, there's a fuel injector there, and there's an injector there, and then the ECM is tucked behind this cover, so you don't have to find a place to mount the ECM on the firewall or the inner fender. Then, of course, you've got a couple of simple wiring harnesses, a controller, a temperature sensor, an O2 sensor, a mounting bracket for the O2 sensor. If you don't have that on your exhaust, you even have a fuel pump so you get the proper fuel delivery for this. Now, as you can see, this is a pretty simple looking thing. Holly has thought of everything, so let's get to work. Okay, the first thing that you need to make sure of is that your engine is in good working order before you start this because you don't want to have to mess with that during the install. Because as good as this system is, it's not going to do anything for burnt valves or blown head gaskets or vacuum leaks. So make sure the engine is tuned up and running good before you start this. All right, with that established, now the first thing we'll do is disconnect the vacuum lines, the fuel lines, and get that old carburetor off of there and put it in the boat anchor box. <laughs> You'll want to start by marking your vacuum lines and your wiring so you know where they go when you reassemble everything. Then remove the old carburetor. We'll follow that by getting rid of the old gaskets and replacing the old carb studs with the newer, longer ones. These are necessary due to the spacer that comes with the sniper system. All right, with that old carburetor out of the way, we're going to spend some time cleaning things up and replacing things like the old heater hoses, the vacuum lines, the fuel lines, and any engine gaskets that might be leaking. Now, I know they're not included in the kit, but now is the perfect time to replace them. A squirt of Z-Max degreaser is a great way to break loose some of that stubborn crud. With that done, we'll install the new gaskets and then bolt on the sniper throttle body. As you can see, it bolts right to the stock manifold and the throttle linkage snaps in place. Next, we'll install the coolant sensor into the manifold and reconnect the appropriate vacuum hoses to the throttle body. Finally, we'll connect the fuel lines. All right, this brings up the fuel system and an important point. This new throttle body requires about 60 PSI of pressure. The original carburetor, about five. So all of your rubber fuel lines need to be upgraded to not only handle that pressure, but also they need to be compatible with today's ethanol fuels and those AN style fittings. Now you can go down to your local auto parts store and you can find fuel injection hose, but those fittings are gonna be a little more of a challenge. So the best thing to do is go to Earl's, get yourself the right hose and the right fittings and plumb it up right. <laughs> 
The final step is the fuel pump, and Holly makes that really easy for you because they include an in-tank pump and pickup tube that's designed to slide right into your existing tank. So all you have to do is put it in, hook up the fuel lines, and you're ready to make your final connections. Okay, when you're making your final electrical connections, you may want to consider updating this old ignition system with a new distributor and coil and ignition box, because those will do wonders to making this engine run better. And we're going to do that, but after we dial in this fuel injection. And that's all there is to put modern fuel injection on a classic Jeep engine. Pretty simple, huh? Now, if you're concerned about tuning, don't be, because all you have to do is push a few buttons on the calibration wizard, start the engine, and the sniper will self-tune as you drive. And once you experience the convenience and performance of fuel injection, you'll wonder why you mess with that old carburetor for so long.